I'm terrified that I can't handle the interview. This can be a tough one because the interview process is quintessential typically in either getting a job that you really want or advancing in your career or even selling your business or a product or a service. The interview process um, or sales process, really it's all sort of the same thing. But when it comes to interviews, if we take a look at what this person says, they said, I'm terrified that I won't be able to handle the interview. And so it's really, really helpful to take a step back and, and look at what's happening here. Now, more than likely, this person is thinking about the interview process. And as they're thinking about it, they're thinking about it in ways that's creating anxiety and these terrified feelings, this fear in their body, in their nervous system. And so when we think about something that hasn't happened yet and we feel uncomfortable feelings, those feelings are really just letting you know that you're having, that your thoughts are reflecting that sort of uncomfortable feeling. In other words, the feelings are letting you know that you're caught up in thought. It has nothing to do with the future event that, by the way, hasn't even happened yet, right? It's not even real. We are just creating a scenario in our heads that is anxiety producing, fear producing. Now, it is true that we may have had past experiences or we may have self-esteem issues where we have you know, a fear of authority figures or just not comfortable in front of people that we feel like have some sort of authority on us, managers, bosses, um, really anybody, right? So one of the keys to really being able to handle this is to recognize that correlation between the thoughts that you're having and the feelings in your body. And it's very easy to think that it's coming from a future event that hasn't happened yet. But if we really take a look at how that feeling of being terrified, of being afraid is happening in the moment, it's happening right now. And it's happening because of the thoughts that we are caught up in. Now that's powerful because when we begin to see that, we don't have to, we don't have to continue entertaining those thoughts. We can if we want, but we can literally just begin to wake up and step out of that, those thoughts. And when we, when we decide to do that, when we make that decision, it can create uh, a bit of a, a bit of an aha moment. You know, when we see that what we're experiencing isn't a future event, but it's just thought in the moment that can give us a breath and it can give us a moment to reflect and have a moment of clarity and gain some new insight and new realizations. And it might just occur to you that you can think of it in a different way. It might occur to you uh, to just relax into the interview. It might, it might encourage you to go do some research and be as prepared as you can. But here's the thing. You can, do, you can do all kinds of preparation, you can do all kinds of research, but when it comes to the actual experience, there's a moment where we just have to let go and we have to trust that whatever groundwork we did going into this interview, we have to just trust that that will show up for us when it's needed. And you'll notice that human beings, you may notice this in your own life, when we don't have a lot on our, on our mind, we tend to do much better than when we when our head is filled with insecure thinking. When we've got all that insecure thinking on our mind, our performance our performance suffers. We're sidetracked. We're we're fidgety. We're not. We're just not performing at our best capacity. And so, rather than putting pressure on yourself, which is another way of saying overthinking things, do what makes sense for you. And then let it go and be in the moment and begin to recognize when you're getting caught up in personal thought and just let that be, let it be. If it shows up, just don't hold on to it. Just let it move through you. And that sort of presence 
we've all known people who bring that to the table, who bring this sort of grounded presence, presence when they walk into a room, when they're in a conversation. That is what connection is about. And if you're in an interview, one of the best things you can do is bring that connection to the table because here's the clue. That person sitting on the other side of you is probably getting caught up in their own thinking too. They're getting caught up in, you know, what does this person think of me? Is this the right person? Oh, if I don't find the right person, my boss is going to be, you know, they've got their own stuff going on too. And so if you show up calm and present and informed to the moment, that's going to give them a chance to relax into the moment as well. And people really appreciate that. This is what's called being human. Show up, be yourself, and be a human. And it's not to say that you're going to get the job. You might, or whatever interview process, whatever you're interviewing for, it may be successful, it may not. That's irrelevant. What's important is that you show up as yourself. And you do the best you can to be prepared and then let go and be present. Now, I understand that we have, many of us can have so many experiences that we believe prove to us that we can't handle something like an interview process. And this is where I really, really like to help my clients out by sitting down with them and walking through these experiences and just finding the answers, finding those moments, finding those spaces in you where you can have those aha moments and create more of that clarity. And this branches out into so many different areas of your life. 